Hello, friends, family, and strange people on the internet. I haven't said that in such a long time. Wow. So, hello. Hi. Thank you for joining me today. How are you? Have a good day. I don't care. That's awesome. You can't hear me. I can't hear you. Okay, so first off, I wanted to say hi. <laughs> How you been? I've been busy. Thanks for asking. You didn't ask. I didn't hear you. Can't hear you still. Oh, fifth wall, fourth wall, whatever wall. Anyway, this week I wanted to share some knowledge with you guys on a topic that I'm so very knowledgeable about because I just know all the things. And that topic is, you guessed it, makeup. A little how-to, if you will, on the whole makeup thing, on the like daily routine and all the jazz. Great. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is have a clean face. <laughs> or you can be lazy and not have a clean face. That's your prerogative. I do not care. Whatever. It's your skin. Anyway, the first actual step is primer. Now, primer does so many wonderful things for you. All of which are so great and you are probably already know um, what those great things are. However, maybe you don't. In which case, I would say to you, look it up, you know, because I am tired of your crap. I'm tired of you piggybacking off of my knowledge and piggybacking off of what I've worked so hard to achieve and find out, you know. And definitely just do as much primer as you think you are deserve. Like, it really is coming down to how much you love yourself and how much you're willing to spend on yourself. Because this is... <laughs> pretty expensive primer, I have to admit, for makeup, um, although probably not for makeup at all. Well, throwing stuff all over the place. So then you're just going to take your little blonde and brush and you're just going to blend that primer in. Now, you can do this with your fingers or with your brush or with whatever. A lot of people prefer to do it with their fingers because it doesn't get their brush all dirty because apparently cleaning brushes are a really big thing in the makeup world. Who knew? But I just am going to go for it because I prefer this? I'm going to say I prefer this. So I'm just going to blend that in really well. Blend it, blend it, blend it. You know, maybe you should put on some music or get a good movie going because this could take you a while. Anyway, blending is your best friend. Blend, 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 blend. Now that you're finished with that, you're going to put on some concealer because you have all those disgusting spots in your face that you have to conceal because you're disgusting. Oop. Left my concealing stick in the thing. There we go. <laughs> that was fun. So then you're just going to like put some on the spots that you don't want to be seen, like blemishes or dark spots or acne spots or under your eyelid or over your eyelid or just some place that you know you just don't want to um, be completely visible that has some dark spots or just really anywhere that you feel like you might have issues and since I can't really see in this lighting I'm just gonna go ahead and put it where my like, trouble spots are that I think are there and then I'm just gonna you know leave that and, and maybe I'll just, you know, just do that and see what happens. Um, wonderful. And then you got it. Blend that ish in. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it in. Blending. Blending. Forever blending. Mmm. Blend, 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 blend. And you're going on to your foundation. Because <laughs> you always need a good foundation for when you're building a face, um, and you're just gonna get your blending brush, your foundation brush, like that, you're just gonna put that all over your face, like so, and this is really therapeutic, and really wonderful, and it's just so much fun, and you just love it, don't you, you can love it, you love it, you love it, I love it, um, yeah, so you just, like, dot your entire face, make you look like a pretty butterfly or a weird raccoon or something, and then you just blend that. Like, you, you guessed it, you just blend, you blend, you blend forever, because blending is such a wonderful, not only word, but technique and, and real tool, and really something that people obsess over. Like, if you can, if you can blend well, then you can literally be a makeup artist. 
Um, yeah, so just keep blending that in your skin. Make sure it's all nice and even. Make sure, you know, you cover your lips and all your skin. Make sure you really dig that in deep there. Like so. And then, after you've finished blending for literally what feels like an eternity, it's been literally like four seconds. You can move on. So right now you just have like the base on your face. So now you want to bring out the the corners and the chisels and all the awkward stages, you know. So you're going to go to contour. Um, now contouring is an art. It really is an art. However, I believe that with this art, you can never go too heavy. I think that it is truly something that is, you know, perfect, and if you um, go too hard, you just, you can't, really, really can't. It's just like, Ant Flow can never really be that hard, you know, because I know all about it, and if you don't know what the term Ant Flow means, look it up. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Okay, that's awkward. So what you're going to be doing with the contour is you're really just going to be chiseling out your corners and your curves and your other syllable. So you're just going to go like that. I'm going to put some down here just to make it all nice and pretty. <laughs> and then you're going to put some in your nose just to chisel out your nose a little bit. And then like that. And you can really put it anywhere you think needs to be darkened or lightened. Um, just to give a little pop of... of of shadow there um, and then even under your chin a little bit could do that and then a little bit over here like that yes and I know what you're thinking right now you're like this guy <laughs> this guy's looking crazy <laughs> and I know I do look crazy just hold on calm yourself Calm all of your being and just, just hold on, okay? So, now that you've done the contour and you look <laughs> great, you're just going to flick the rest of that off your brush. <laughs> yes, you are. And you're going to go to blush. Now, <laughs> you got to bring that rosy color back into your cheekbones. Or you're just going to look like a dead brown white fool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you're just going to get a really, really healthy amount of blush. Really healthy. Like, unbelievably healthy. An unbelievable amount. And you're just going to... And dust the apples of your cheeks. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's taking a weird turn. So you're just going to do it to the other side as well. And you can literally never go too heavy with this, just like contouring. So you just put that on there and maybe, maybe even mm, lips and, and a little like, just a little more on there and a little more and a little, a little up here, just some color. Yeah, and a little, mm, a little more and a little here, you know, and I think that's, I think that's good. And always make sure to flick your brush to get the excess powder off. Before or after you brush, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so you're just going to put that aside. Wonderful. And then you're going to be going to highlighter. Highlighter! It's so much fun. So what I use for highlight is actually a matte powder. There are actually specifically things made for highlighting, apparently. I don't know, but apparently I should know because I'm an expert, like I aforementioned. So you're just going to get a really healthy amount of this stuff on your brush. And you're just going to go over the top of the contour right above it to really contrast the dark tones with the light tones um, so you're gonna do like the places the Sun hits you know so you're just gonna like definitely hit your brow bones and you also want to do your your inner eyelids just so that way like it brightens it up just a tad bit so that way it's not super dark because I have really set in eyes, or really strong brow bones, whichever one you want to say. So I just am gonna, just going to go ahead and go for it, you know? 
and I'm going to try and make this end in the next two minutes because it's already been so long. <laughs> but we're having fun, are we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Anyway, I don't know when I became this weird. Yes, I do. I've been this weird for my entire life. Anyway, so now that you've got your highlighter, you're just going to continue to apply that. And you're just going to continue to apply that. And again, I know what you're thinking. You're like, what is this madness? This is absolutely crazy. I will never look good if I do this. And I would say you could possibly be correct. However, blending is your best friend. And blending will help you greatly. So take your brush and begin to blend. <laughs> Oh goodness, this is insane. In the man brain. <laughs> oh goodness, do you believe it yet? Do you believe how wonderful I am at this? Can you just feel how great I am at makeup? So yeah, blush. Just keep blending, keep blending, really work it in, really, really get in there with it, you know? Like, really, really go for it. Don't be afraid, it's your own face, and you're not gonna hurt it. Don't worry. So I think once you get finished blending, after, again, what feels like an eternity, then you can go ahead and go for your eyes. Now... For the eyes, I just like a subtle, a subtle little color. So I'm just going to do a little bit of blue eyeshadow. No, no, eyeliner. So I'm just going to take my blue eye liner pen. So, and I'm just going to look in my little mirror here. And I'm just going to do it like this. And you can't see my face right now because it's really hard for me to do this while looking at the computer. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Now, don't be afraid to cover the entire surface of your eyelid. Now, a lot of people are like, it's just liner, just line your eyelid. But no, no. Don't listen to those naysayers. They are disgusting people. They are the reason Hitler was in power. They are followers. And you don't need that negativity in your life. You do you, babe. Now, do the other side. Ow. How do you not poke yourself in the eye when you do this? Like, it is a superpower. Oh, goodness. Okay. Like a windshield, like a windshield wiper, back and forth. There we go. Now, now that we've done that, mm -hmm, I think it looks pretty good so far. So what we're going to do is, since I don't have any lipstick, we're just going to bring a pop of color to them lips. <laughs> so, 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 I am going to first use my concealer to conceal my lip color. Because, I mean, you don't want that showing through. So, I'm just going to put concealer as kind of a lipstick base. There we go. I'm trying to get that on there real good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just smooth that in with your lip bones. And you're just going to put that away. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my blue um, eyeliner again. And I'm just going to draw a little, a little line. Just a little bit of color. It's not too thick, not too heavy. Um, and feel free to draw up your lips. Because um, if you are like me, <laughs> being white, you ain't got none. So you might as well make the best of it whenever you can. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of fill that in once you've made your outline. Like so. <laughs> Wonderful, 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 wonderful. And then you can just do that and do that and again, there we go, there we go, there we go. Mm hmm, mm hmm, and just smooth that in. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Wonderful. And then blend. 
Mm-hmm. And there we have it, our finished look. I know, pure genius. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot from this. Um, wow, it's been so, such a great time. Have a great day. I will see you later. Wow. This <laughs> could have gone better.